Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, this is The Ramble, this is Alex Bennett, and we'll be with you until midnight Eastern Daylight Time. Ladies and gentlemen, the person you're seeing I know uh, by another name, but we have on the screen the name Walter Sterling. Hello, Walter. And you have another name, but you're known by Alex Bennett. Yeah, well, I don't, I don't um, uh, make any bones about the fact that my name is Bennett Schwarzman. You uh, never changed it, did you? I never changed it because the reason I made did Bennett Schwarzman was because Bennett Schwarzman is uh, 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 too difficult a name. I mean, it uh, takes up a lot of room, okay? And in those days, you wanted to go with a simpler name. So originally, I was Jerry Bennett. And then when, no. my, when my father died, whose name was Alex, I changed it to Alex Bennett, and that was perfect, and that stuck with me forever. So I come legitimately by both names, okay? Well, there's nothing illegitimate, nothing legitimate about you. Y yes, that's, cool. that's uh, uh, unquestionable. Nothing Ill illegitimate. How are you but, doing out there in Cleveland, Ohio? But by the way, there are other long names, like B. Mitchell Reed. Now, that was pretty long. Not as long as Bennett Schwarzman. Um, there are 11 letters in Schwarzman, and mm. there are six letters in uh, Bennett for a total mm. of 17 letters. Now, B, Mitchell, right now, I think it's shorter. Yeah. And he spelled it weird. It's one L. Oh, really? He probably yeah. didn't want to be as long. Probably. Yeah, that's probably why he did it. B. Mitchell Reed, in case people don't know, was a well-known radio broadcaster. Did you know him? No, I did not. He was also, and this he never got credit for this. I don't know why he doesn't get credit for this. Mm -hmm. Everybody talks about um, the guy on the West Coast who started Freeform Progressive Rock. Right. Um, the large guy. What was his name? Oh, well, that was Tom Donahue, but he didn't really start it. There was another guy at another station in San Francisco who did start it. He just started. They gave him, uh, it was on, um, I think the station was KSAN. And um, he, uh, they gave him the midnight to six in the morning slot. And they said, do anything you want to. So he started playing all this progressive music. I'm trying to remember his name right now. And he is really the guy who originated it. Tom Donahue heard that. Quit KYA, went over to, I can't remember, where did he go? KM something. Uh, KMPX, is that it? Or yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, and, and he, 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 he took that format and did it full time. So he is then credited with progressive radio. But he did it with B. Mitchell Reed. And, and Mitch Reed never gets credit for that. They did it together. They did it at the same time at K Pasadena Presbyterian Church. KPPC in, <laughs> in Los Angeles. You know, those were the days when every call letter meant something. You know, like WMCA here in New York, you know where the MCA comes from? Shame on me. No, I don't. Uh, the uh, studios were in the McAlpin Hotel. Wow. The original studios, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Where so, was that hotel? Uh, it was uh, down on Broadway somewhere. It was around when I first got here. Yeah. But you didn't broadcast from there. Oh no! By then we had had our we had our own studios and yeah. At Fifty Seventh Street. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, not at Fifty Seventh. We had uh, we the original studios I worked at was on Madison Avenue. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I can't remember the address exactly, but it was right up the street from CBS because Madison Avenue had all the radio stations, all right. the advertising agencies, right. you know, and so on. And then later it moved to Fifty Seventh Street. But I and I did I work there? Yeah, I worked there. For a short time. Uh, was Barry Gray nice to you? Barry Gray was very, very nice to me. He made me his kind of, um, what's the word we're looking for? Sub? His sensei. Uh, wow. Yeah, wow. Yeah. I mean, he, he, I was kind of a protege of Barry Gray's, uh, and he liked me a lot. 
uh, until the station decided to fire me, and then all of a sudden he didn't like me a lot because he wanted to keep the Strausses happy. Well, it was not easy to keep the Strausses happy, I imagine. The Strausses, we have to explain this because it's you and I talking to each other. The Strausses were the two horrible people that owned the radio station. Uh, she used to refer to us as the little people. You know. And she and she meant it. And she meant it, yeah. She was he was the son it was the grandson of the couple that died on the Titanic. And then the family had also started Macy's. Okay, you know that's when you watch a Titanic movie, there's always the couple and no you go, no I'll stay with you and they stay and they go down with the ship. It's the only time they ever went down with each other. Uh, and uh, then uh, they owned Macy's. And uh, so he was the, um, the Macy's heir, kind of. And, and she was uh, Salzburger, New York Times. So the New York Times mar married Macy's, you know. And it was like one of those important marriages. But well, he, actually, he, he, it he was, was an important he, marriage. Yeah. Because... Macy's funded the New York Times. They were the number one advertiser oh, really? in the New York Times. Okay, they yeah. were the number one advertiser in the New York Times. So if Macy's got really annoyed at the Times and yeah. pulled their advertising, the New York Times would have a problem. Yes. The other thing about Macy's that never is revealed. I, I don't understand this. I absolutely don't By understand. By the way, we don't have to explain Macy's to anybody because they're all over the country for, for right now. What is amazing is uh, during the Giuliani administration, there was a big push to get big box stores like Costco and um, uh, Sam's Club, big box stores into Manhattan. Mm -hmm. There was a big push. And Giuliani and other re and retailers pushed against it, saying we don't need block-long stores. What do we need block-long stores for? And I'm sitting there going, Macy's is a block-long store. Macy's takes up an entire block. We yeah. seem to have broken that barrier some time ago. Yeah, I mean, they, they, didn't they go all the way to the other street on the back of them? It is a full block. Yeah. And they still have the wooden escalators there that were in the original Macy's. They do, but they don't have their picture windows. Oh, they have big picture windows. Well, they had big showcase windows on the street. Yeah, of course, but they don't anymore? No, cars drove into them about a month ago and destroyed oh, them. Oh, I see. Okay, you're talking about that. I'm saying, yeah, that, up, that, up, yeah, as that. I can remember before I went down there, and I haven't been down, I haven't been down, I haven't, haven't hardly been anywhere in six months, yeah. you know. Um, who well, does the best delivery for you? Who does the best delivery? Well, I mean, Amazon is probably without peer in being able to order anything you want. It's amazing. But I, for, for, for food, I like to go to Costco, so I use Instacart. Right. And that cost me about 40 bucks a, an order. But I always used to spend at least 20 uh, on cabs to get over there. So right. actually, it's only costing me $20 more to have Instacart do it for me. Plus, another extra 20 when you went there buying things you didn't need. Yes, yes. <laughs> Because they, they don't offer everything online. You can't get no. everything through Instacart. They haven't had bounty paper towels for the longest time now. No. And I don't understand why, because I bet if I go there, they're sitting there on the shelves. You Probably know. also, if you think about it, things like a, one of their paper towel packs is so huge. Yes. That it takes up a lot of space for that. Yeah, but... That's why you buy. That's why Costco exists. Everything you buy there is bigger. If you buy the, you know, the cashews, they're in a big jar, not a small jar. And, you know, yeah. But uh, you know that that's been the way things have been working here. But we've been, I've been, you know, but I've been really basically stuck in the house except to go get a root canal. Uh, I got I got a root canal last week. Yeah, kind of expensive. Well. Um, depends on your insurance. I have insurance. And I finally found the right dentist. And the right dentist did this in such a way that I had zero pain, either during it or after it. None. Really? Zero. I had 
it for me it was anguishing. I was in the chair yesterday for the second one oh. of the thing for for two hours. Oh. Yeah, yeah, two well, hours. He gave he gave me a shot that I think was meant for a horse. Yeah, and I swear to God, the shot he gave me didn't wear off for two days. Do you know how many shots she gave me yesterday? How many? Six. Oh. So anyway, it's going to cost me fifteen hundred bucks. That's a lot, but not for New York. Not for New York. But, I mean, that's with my insurance. be a lot li- higher if I didn't have insurance. But anyway, we're, we're g- going all over the place here. Let's stick right now on this call with a, a, a we call it a call. Is this a call, a Zoom a call? Yes. It is? Okay. Uh, let's deal with uh, the coronavirus. Yes. And, and, and how it's affecting you. Now, you're in the radio business. You have a radio show on... Uh, uh, Clear Channel. What is what, what's the company now? Uh, we are independently syndicated via the Westwood One satellite. Okay. All right. So uh, 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 he has a show, and it's on Sunday night, uh, ten o'clock Eastern. Ten p.m. Eastern to one a.m. Eastern. Right. And then now, don't be annoyed. Yeah. Now I'm also on Saturdays, local, live, on WABC at 9 p.m. Oh, really? Okay. Are they And they're carrying that show, or is it a separate show? It's a local live show just for WABC. Oh, okay. Good. Good, 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 good. That's terrific. So yeah. now I come on after Bruce Morrow. Really? Oh, this is the guy who bought the radio station and is hiring all the old folks. Maybe I should go over and say hello to him. Probably. Yeah. So when they said, okay, so Bruce will be on from 6 to 9. Mm-hmm. And for those of you who don't know, Bruce is all air hammer, energy, bum, 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 bum. I'm like, not too much pressure there. Coming on after a legend <laughs> who talks very fast, following a no-show who speaks slowly, this is going to be quite something. Yeah. Well, good. But this guy's going around trying to hire all the old people in New York City. So... Um, he's hiring, I don't think that's fair, he's hiring his favorites. And you know what? If you're a billionaire Mm -hmm. and you own the Red Apple chain Mm -hmm. and you love radio, this guy loves radio, he's hiring all his favorites, and God bless him. You know what's great about this guy, um, John Katsimidis? Yeah. I'm sorry, my phone is making noise. The great thing about him, this guy... Is, did not buy the radio station, WABC, uh, as an investment. It is, in fact, on paper, a bad investment. He, he bought it because he loves radio. It's been a long time since you and I have worked for somebody who owns radio stations because they love radio. He yeah. just loves these guys. And it's, a, it's amazing. Gee, I wonder if he remembers me. I don't know if I'd make it about yourself, Alex. <laughs> but I'm sure you could get it there. I'm sure you could get it there. What do you mean I could get it there? What I'm saying oh. is if he's hiring all the old timers in New York City, ta da I would do things to remind him. <laughs> <laughs> what, like stand outside his house with picket signs? Yeah. No, I would, um, I would do things to remind him. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll talk about that later. So uh, um, uh, we're we got about two minutes left here. I want to do another one of these, so we have a couple of them in the can. Uh, so you've been doing your show. You do your show uh, on those nights from your laundry room. Yes. And you are right now in my laundry room. This is the laundry room. <laughs> this is the laundry. You want to see it? Yeah. Show a little bit of your laundry okay. room. I mean, we, so, he, he's not lying. Oh, by the way, there's an old RCA forty four. Which we love. I grew up on that microphone. I grew up talking into that microphone. Also, the, uh, our, um, also the 77s, right? It's the 77s. Yeah. And then uh, there's the board. Yeah. Anyway, okay. Which, but where, where's, the, where, where's the washer and dryer? Let's wait. <laughs> okay. There's all the equipment. And here comes... The, the, oh, this is the basement, isn't it? This is the washer. Oh, wow. Yeah. What is that all piled up there? Is that laundry? Laundry. <laughs> and then there's then there's the Christmas tree. Yeah. Well, the Christmas tree. You have the Christmas tree. In, well, okay. 
So right. that's uh, that's a set decor and a portable air conditioner, which is also known as the lifesaver. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's um, that's yeah. what we have. Okay. It's a fully equipped laundry room. Yeah. Um, and uh, sometimes I let it run during the show. Sometimes oh, really? I just okay. let the equipment Because you run. make a big deal out of the fact that you do it from the laundry room. Hey, I just looked at the clock here. We're running out of time. But we'll do another one of these because I want people to hear more from you. And I got a lot of questions to ask you about broadcasting in the age of the coronavirus. By the way, just look in the camera so I can say goodbye to you all over the place. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Walter Sterling. He can be heard on radio stations across America on Sunday nights. Thank you, Walter. I appreciate it. Always love talking to you. Thanks, Alex. Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. That's my old friend, Walter Sterling, and uh, he'll be on, us, on with us again maybe next week and the week afterwards. We did about three of those today, so I enjoy him. I like him, and he's, over, over the years, been pretty good to me. Uh, and I, that's not a qualification for why I like somebody, but why not? Anyway, uh, it is time to go to our, um, uh, to our uh, panel, as it were. Uh, and it's called a citizen panel for good reason. Um, it is called a citizen panel because uh, we get a bunch of people together and we talk. Now, we've been doing this for the longest time. We used to do it on Skype, and then along came Zoom, and here we are, and here is what a citizen panel starts to look like. Let me see here. Let me put on the Zoom panel. There we are, and here comes also... Uh, Robert Natale as well. Hello. Well, well let's see here. He, I guess he has to push a button on his side. Yeah, there's Robert. Hello, Robert. How are you? Alex, gentlemen, good evening. Yes, and, uh, and, and Josh, good to have you with us tonight. And Brian Ludwig, good to have you as well. Thank uh, you. You're looking like, the, wearing that hat, you look like the Boston Strangler. It's really, uh, yeah, it's good. Is that your? Is that your? Also, your, does that double as your face mask? Uh, Correct. Yeah. Is it good? Uh, does it work? Because uh, oh, yeah. they're saying that some of the face masks are not really up to snuff. They seem like they are, but they're not. Well, you know. Well, here's the thing. It works. It's comfortable. I'm operating under mandate. I'm obeying the law, and it also, more importantly, it feels comfortable for me. It actually feels more comfortable than not wearing it. In fact. But uh, here's the thing. I share Mr. Alfano's optimism. And, of course, I'm being ironic when I say that, as I said to Jack Bishop a few weeks ago. Uh, they're estimating that 70 percent of Allegheny County, remember, remember people, I live in Pittsburgh, but 70 percent of Allegheny County is going to get infected anyway. And with all these new findings coming out that not only are certain masks ineffective, that this, but that this virus travels further than six feet than originally thought. They actually think they think it travels up to 16 feet. I don't know if you heard that. Yeah. But. Yeah, we're all. Well, I mean, it, look, uh, we a liberal pick. Yeah, uh, we're fucked always. Well, to be honest with you, we are not. Uh, we don't know everything we need to know about this. I don't think. I think we're working on the best science that we have at our disposal at the moment, uh, and uh, you know, so where we thought six feet was enough. I mean, I was I was thinking for the longest time that why is it six feet? Why isn't it 10 feet? Why isn't, isn't it 20 feet? Why isn't right. it a foot and a half, you know? Why are we being told to test when mo most of us can't afford I'd say to be, be like I've been all my life. Avoid human beings at all costs. Oh, I've done that for years. Yeah. Myself. Hello, That's Charlie. Hello, Josh. Hello, oh, Howard. Hello. Howard's in hello. Hawaii. That's not really his view from his window. That's, that's a green screen. Which it looks good. I'm, I've been thinking about getting a green screen here. You know, get one. yeah, I've, I've been thinking about it. Well, for for other stuff that we do, I don't want to use it necessarily on this show. Isn't isn't this a nice background? Don't you think? Yeah, you've gotten used to it, haven't you? You know, uh, as I That's put on a real picture, I took that shot. You t oh, you mean oh. this this shot of uh, Hawaii? Yeah. Yeah. It's real picture it's just i happen to be in my messy office yeah not on the beach right by the way here comes the other brian brian neary hello brian hi good how are you 
Brian? Oh, he, oh, he's waving. Hello. 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 Turn up your mic a little bit. Hello. 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 Just turn up a little bit if you can. Uh, let me see here. So, okay, we got a good uh, good bunch here so far. Uh, and, uh, oh, here comes Rob Alfano. He's going to join the party as well. Is uh, it a Phyllis Friday? I don't think so. He didn't say so. Maybe yeah. something happened to his gun. Huh? <laughs> he, he, yeah, well, he, he he was out last night because he was taking gun lessons or something. I don't know. Or or his weapon. Yeah. 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 And it's probably um, gun safety. Gun. Sa it, it, no, but it wasn't gun safety. It was how oh, to yeah. use a gun. How yeah, to use I an mean, AK. AR uh, what AR-15 was it? Yeah, that's what he said. Yeah. Yeah, an assault weapon. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Aim, pull, trigger. Yes, Brian. Brian, other Brian, not the Brian with Bloody. the kid. Brian, who probably will never procreate. Brian. No, I won't. Yeah. In fact, uh, no, I was just going to say, if Phil doesn't show up today, mm -hmm. you have you have me to argue with if all of you start once again touting the virtues of uh, those neoliberal swine that have uh, gotten the nomination who said they'd vote down Medicare for all. So there's about as useless as uh, uh, No, They didn't say that. They haven't said that. Joe Biden did. Did Joe Biden say it, Robert? I go to Robert because he watches everything. He actually said it twice, from what I understand. Yeah, he said he vetoed. It if it yeah, came he's up. he's gone. He's well, he's no, but you, wait a minute. But you haven't heard Goodbye. what? Maybe he's got a better idea. You don't know. What is better than Medicare for all? Uh, uh, for uh single payer. Well, mm, Me Medicare for all is a simple way of trying to say single payer. He, um, uh, he also said he wants to bring back a, uh, the Affordable Care Act as it previously existed under the Obama administration. So what he wants to do is he wants to bring back the, the notion that a working, so the working poor can get fined for not having a predatory health, health plan. And, you know, I heard some people on here say, well, you can get Medicaid. Well, you have to go through all kinds of hoops, shoots, and fucking ladders in order to get it. That's assuming, yeah. of course, you're qualified yeah. to begin with. Fuck yeah. that. Hmm. Yeah. But that was the Republican go fuck fault. himself. That's exactly okay, right. That's what I was going to say. Wait, wait a minute, Rob. Rob, what that's were you exactly say? what I was going to say. It, they, Obama got through what he could make get through, right? right. If they control <clears throat> the House and the Senate Which and the presidency, did. in Obama's first term, they yeah, did in his first term, but it, it, he didn't get to do the health care. At that it, point, I think there was a good reason why he didn't too, Rob, is because Clinton did, and it got screwed. That in your first term, it's harder to get stuff passed than in your second term. And you don't want to blow all your goodwill that you got in being elected on, uh, on futile uh, things that you're going after. So he waited to the second term to do it. It's, it's a, that's just one issue. Then there's also, you know, the, the incarceration legislation that yeah. uh, Joe Biden co-sponsored. You know, a lot of uh, African-Americans. How, long ago, was, how long ago was that? Doesn't yeah, it does matter. It does matter. He also wants it, to criminalize raves. He said that too. So you know, he criminalize wants, uh, marijuana use. What? No, he, I don't. Board. I've never heard him say that. Yeah, I never heard that either. No, anybody heard that here? Oh, no. oh Biden. Raves? Biden was no, the one who initiated what, what, the Rave Act, like so, twenty years ago. The what? Oh, something called the Rave Act, where basically, if you had a rave party, the government could seize your home. A oh. rave party. Yep. What does that mean? What is that? An XTC party. This is like 20 years ago. Oh, ecstasy yeah. party. Yeah. Ecstasy, yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, Brian? Brian, other Brian. Uh, I was just doing my raver. raver. <laughs> oh, oh, I see. I thought you were trying to get my attention. No. Gee, where's Phil tonight? I, maybe he's mad at us now or something. I don't know. You know. I'll uh, call him up, see where he's Charlie. Uh, yeah. Charlie. Yeah, uh, Charlie. Yes, Charlie. I'm sorry. I'm yeah. a little out of it. So just I'm always out of it. What do you mean? Go ahead, Charlie. That's OK. Yeah, I, I just want to mention that it was the Republicans part about Medicaid because uh, the original Obama uh, Affordable Care Act. Yeah, you were fined if you didn't. But that wasn't for poor people because poor people could get subsidies. It was the Republicans that kept screwing up the subsidies and refused to, to uh, uh, expand Medicaid. Right. Right. When, the, when the federal government was going to pay 100% of the cost, the states, the Republican states still would not expand Medicaid. Yep. Well, over the subsequent four years or so, uh, the Democrats lost like two thirds of the legislature, lost like most of the yeah. governorships. That's bad campaigning on Nancy Pelosi's part. Oh, yeah. On Obama's Absolutely. part. Absolutely. 
Fact, uh, but yeah, the, uh, no argument there. Yeah, but the uh, the Republicans uh, gerrymandered the hell out of the whole country. That's how they were able to gain control of uh, the whole country, you know, the state yeah. houses. And what allowed the Republican takeover? Bad DNC campaigning. So as far as exactly. I'm concerned, a pox on both their houses. They well, who, are you, who the fuck are you going to vote for? Yeah, but that's Brian. the problem, Green. Brian. That's someone gets in. So, yeah, what, you want Trump? You want, we'll do it your way and Trump will get elected again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, yeah. I'd rather I'd rather vote on principle than harm my vote. All right, all right, right, great. Well, I I rather I rather I rather, I rather vote on not getting people. killed because we have a president who's out to lunch. Yeah. Okay. We're either killed with a bullet travel. Do you want? Do you want? Tr I guess you. I guess what you're saying is you want. You, what you're saying is you want Trump for another four years. I didn't say that. Well, that's what you're going that's for here. You're going to get your lesser of two evils mentality. No, it is a lesser there's only of two, two evils. people that have a chance to be president: either Joe Biden or Donald Trump. You that's have to the pick only one. two people. That, I'm sorry, you, have you have to pick one. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate, no, well, but don't, that's don't say don't one. say I don't want either because you're going to have to have one of them. Well, yeah. I don't want either, and well, I'm not going to. Yeah, but you're going to get mm -hmm. one of them. Oh well, if I do, it, you, you, you guys, your representatives. It's your mentality that got us stuck with. Tr it's your mentality that got us stuck with Trump in the first place. Don't gaslight me. Like no. Don't gaslight me. Dead if Hillary me. Were president. What? Don't gaslight me. And I'm not me gaslighting you. I am not gaslighting you. You don't even know what gaslighting means. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it, no, what I'm saying is, you, your mentality got Trump elected. OK, I don't want to, either of those people. I'm going to vote for the very silly party, you know, I would or right in my side because the other side is even worse, even though my side is almost as bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty much a. So who are you going to vote for? Who, who, who are you going to vote for? I do know what gaslighting who, means. Who are, no, what does it mean? Where does it come people? from? Where does it come from, that term? I don't know where it comes oh. from, but I looked up the definition. Oh, and what does it mean? Means vote for my side. No, no. Oh. The term gaslighting came from a movie in the 1940s called Gaslight with Charles Boyer, in which he's a guy who makes his wife think she's crazy so she'll kill herself. That's yeah. where the term gaslighting comes from. Okay. Yeah, there's so clips of it crazy. on YouTube. I've watched it. Yeah. Keep mm -hmm. saying it and you'll believe it. Huh? Like they say, keep saying it and they'll eventually believe it. Yeah, that's what we have going on today. Yeah. Now the he's trying the birther thing with Camilla Harris, yeah, right? He's trying it again. And he says, I don't know. This is what I hear. But people then take that and it becomes, you know, the same thing as Hillary running up a, a child pornography ring out of a out of a pizza place in D.C. I mean, Unfortunately, there are enough stupid people where that might work. <laughs> well, that, but that's the problem. See, that's why Donald Trump is so damn dangerous. <laughs> Mm -hmm. way more dangerous you may not like biden i'm not a huge fan but when you weigh them you know it's going to be one or the other and politicians you have to pick like the biden lesser of the two Trump evils say politicians again like Trump, like like biden and obama and the clintons especially or what got us trump to begin with that could be very well the truth but another four years of trump is pretty scary for this country yeah. and the I world think be forget just for the country hmm. well there's more than two options you know, I mean, I, I, uh, all my life have often said I wish that we had three or four parties that were, in yeah. fact, oh, here's Phil coming on, uh, that are, um, uh, uh, that we had uh, three or four parties that were viable. Right. Viable, but we okay. don't. It's and not the kind of the democracy we <laughs> live in. And it's an equal playing field. It's an equal playing field amongst those parties, but it's not, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. I mean, really, if you're one of the other parties, you haven't got a chance. And, and we have to and be you're, realistic you're about right, that. And you're playing should, right into Donald Trump's totally hands so because that's, that's why he's going after and spending money trying to get Kanye West on the ticket for that it's very reason. Cool. And the biggest problem, the things that, like Rob said, when people say that, when Trump says that, that get, gets forwarded all the time by Trumpers, just back right. and forth, back and forth right. on each side. And, and the, the lies and just grows and grows and grows and people don't even think about it. They just blast it out there. Let's see, how many people do we have? Oh, yes. Uh, 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 well, flush or full uh, do they really believe about the pizza theory? That's yeah, why they're getting people who believe that. <laughs> Oh, yeah. They, they, be, they believe that. Let me see here. What is this? Is this a full house? Uh, 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 wait a minute. Somebody uh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Uh, Royal flush. A royal flush. Okay, we got a royal flush. The world is flat. Huh? 
There are people in this day and age who have seen satellite photos. We circle the Earth with satellites. A whole world is connected via satellite, and these people believe the world is flat. Yeah, that's all Photoshop. Yeah, yeah. You want, you want to? Learn I don't that? care. Yeah, yeah. I took a hot shower and the water was still hot. I mean, I took a cold shower and the water was hot. What so does that it's mean? Hundred degrees here. It's eight o'clock at night. Oh wow! Life sucks. You guys don't. Hey, you're you're you're, you're 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 taking my position in life now. Life <laughs> sucks. You get your prostate work done. Life <laughs> sucks. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>. Charlie. <laughs> and I just want to point out. Since 1900, we're talking 120 years, mm -hmm. the only person that has been president has been either the Republican or the Democrat. Nobody God. else. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's history. Mm -hmm. If you think you can vote for somebody else and mm -hmm. not have one of those other guys be president, go it, for you it. You know, but I mean, it, it, is a, it is a horrible reality that third parties and fourth parties don't really have a decent shot. Much support as it is protest. So bring the wigs back. Yeah. yeah. But that's called shooting your biting your nose off despite your faith. No, you have to you deal with you, you have to deal with the system that we have. Uh, you know, uh, I don't know how we change that. Do you have any suggestions, Rob? Is there any way we can you know, change you, that? Josh would be the perfect person to ask that to. Oh, Josh. Yes, Josh. I forgot in this plethora of people we have here that Josh is up there. Josh go to you is there any way that we can do away with the two-party system and get it to be a three or four party system where all the parties have an equal chance um, or it's not required by law people can just simply make different choices would be the most simple but way. isn't the problem isn't the problem that stands between multiple parties and just two-party system the electoral college and how many yes. votes you have to get in order yes. to win yeah. a possibility you know but mm -hmm. what we could say is if we didn't have the electoral college that the people with uh you know who who get above a certain amount there's a runoff yeah you know <laughs> I'm, I'm normally on brian's side because if you've got let's just say you've got mm -hmm. uh george bush you know george w bush and and anybody on the Democratic side, and you don't like either one mm -hmm. because you think it's the status quo and it's the same. I get it. You want to vote for a third party? It because you know what? Either one is not very good. But when you've got somebody like Donald Trump and anybody else, I mean, it's just. I heard the time, same rhetoric about George W. Bush, and now the Democratic establishment is cozying up with George W. Bush as well as his acolytes, John Kasich too. I mean, people hated John Kasich with a passion, but guess who's speaking at the DNC convention? In fact, yeah, that's more screen time, who's getting more speaking time than AOC, Alexandria yeah. Ocasio-Cortez, it's John Kasich. Fuck the Democrats. Maybe he <laughs> should get more time than AOC, though. No. AOC, AOC is new to the party. I, AOC, wait a minute, let me finish. Yeah. AOC is new to the party. She's a congresswoman. She's, only, she's had less than one term. And so if they're going to have people speak, they might go by a certain seniority. I mean, would you disagree with me, Robert, on that one? I think John Kasich speaking at the D at the uh, convention is somewhat uh, intriguing, just I, I by agree. virtue of who he is and you know where he stood politically for years. Because he's I, a Repu I'm, I'm he's a Republican. He's a Republican, and he's one of the Republicans he's that's come out against every Trump. Democratic bill that's ever been put up. That's true. <laughs> well, I mean, which, which is probably mostly true, but you know, I, I know a lot about John Kasich because I live in Ohio, and he was our governor here for a while. And I didn't vote for him, and I don't particularly care for him politically. I don't believe he's a terrible human being. If you don't want him to speak at the convention, that's a valid opinion. But I don't know that I'm going to lose my mind over it because what are you going to do, make this a, a, a club of Democrats only? I mean, you're going to start turning people away? You're going to start acting like the other side. You know, you know, I mean, plus, let's add what kind of message yeah. is that to send if the guy says, I'm not in your party, but I believe in the guy that you're running. But to and give I would him like more to time to speak time. about it because I'm a well known person and I have something to say and I think I can help. What screen I mean, time, Brian? This is a yeah. virtual convention. Everybody's going to be talking from their home. 
from their basement, from their living uh, uh, room. He, I mean, he, I he guess what I'm saying is... Air time. How about that? If we're going to do this, do go argue semantics. He's going to have more airtime as a ranking Republican because, you know, you just... You, you threw in my face how much more, uh, you know, seniority they're get, they're getting, getting people, people up there. The they're getting people up there. They're getting people up there, they think, can get the American public to vote Democratic. Well, uh, I, I mean, you got to admit something. AOC isn't exactly that kind of person right now. Well, no. I, I mean, right. Let me... Certainly not. You know, certainly I not. admire her. I like her. I think she's fine. I think she's a little amateurish at times. Well, Mm -hmm. But I think she's getting to learn her job. I think a couple of more terms, she's going to be a force to be reckoned with. But I don't think it's just simply because she came into office and she's a young woman and she's blabbing her mouth off that she necessarily gets a seat, a ta seat at the table, you know, Six, at yeah. this point. She has I mean, to earn it like a lot of other people did. But, and I but, agree but with you know, about Kasich, but I think he's there because he's there to convince Republicans to vote for Biden. You know, well, and so he has a value. In I mean, they are trying to expand their their voter base and their party, which is a good goal. I mean, but listen, you know, Kasich is a guy who was elected to two terms in Ohio, a statewide election as a governor. Mm -hmm. I mean, listen, no no president has been elected in over mm -hmm. a century without winning this state. Okay, mm -hmm. he's important right. here, and. As a whole, Kasich's ideas in many ways and the type of things that he stands for are far more representative of where America is than Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. I mean, I've argued before that areas of the country like this are far more representative of the nation as a whole than a neighborhood in New York City, which is what she represents. I mean... I'm not against her, right? but I'm also, as a working person who doesn't live in New York City, I'm not for all the stuff that she wants, you know? I mean, but I'm willing to hear her out as well. I guess what I'm saying is when you stop being okay with hearing other people out simply because they don't carry the membership card of the party that you're in, oh, that guy wasn't on my, fuck that guy then you've turned into them and i and i have an issue with that i mean that's my issue with it uh, you know robert you seem to be you seem to be agreeing with that i agree wholeheartedly that's why i said i'm intrigued to listen to john Kasich. i'm not quite sure maybe josh could answer me um how what is his standing in ohio is he well respected generally like what what do ohioans feel about john Kasich? yeah i mean look he he was a congressman here for many years he lived in westerville a suburb here of columbus he was a congressman from that district for a long time he's been very well liked in ohio for a long time he was elected to two terms as governor here uh won easily both times no real question in fact he 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 defeated an incumbent candidate the first time that he won which is always difficult you know a democratic governor by the way mm -hmm. you know and he has been pretty much outspoken on trump since the beginning he's not one of those you know uh he he didn't ride the trump train to anything which i can at least respect a little bit he came to that party a lot earlier than people like you know fucking Mitt romney or or, or people like that you know I mean, well, he, again, got, he, if he, he were running today for yeah. the governor of Ohio, I'm not voting for him, okay? Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean when I pass him on the street, I'm going to spit at him. Right. You know, he served his eight years here, and we're fucking all alive. Everything is fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, the thing is that, that uh, uh, you know, the, 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 right now what the Democrats have to do if they're going to win <laughs> Uh, is is to include everybody, to bring everybody into the party and to get everybody to, to like what they have to say. Yes, uh, Charlie. I just wanted to point out that there is a precedence for this, too, in that uh, Joe Lieberman spoke at the Republican convention in 2008. Right. Good example. Yeah, and a I lifelong mean, I mean, Democrat. Listen, I mean, I understand. If you don't want to hear him speak there, I, I'm not going to argue. Everyone is allowed to have that opinion. Yeah. I, I'm just saying that, I mean... Other people in the past who have spoke at, you know, the Democratic National Convention include, you know, Eva Longoria and Scarlett Johansson. I mean, 
I love both of them, but I mean, yeah, they spoke. What the fuck? I mean, what the fuck do they really got to say that is not already? You, been gotta, said you also have written, to remember, I mean, you know. Brian Ludwig has to. You have to remember that the conventions are basically just four days of publicity. Yeah, you know, <laughs> and public relations. And you got to do what you consider is best for public relations. It's not a political function, really. Uh, in fact, well, I've often argued be. that they shouldn't get all that free time. Just yeah. to, you know, go in and follow the speech that the winner gives and the vice presidential candidate gives <laughs> and leave it at that. But no, no they but do I, four I, days of this and I, let, it's I, one big advertisement. I would just add, too, that... If we want to learn from it historically, we can. And what I would say is America is not in favor of third parties right now. I know a couple people on the panel are, and they wish that it would happen, but they're just not. And you can go back well over a century, and they have not been. Mm -hmm. Theodore Roosevelt tried to run third party. He was a beloved former president. Didn't work out for him at all. It was an embarrassment. Bull moose. But, yes, but, Rob. Rob. I mean, the, the, well, I'm just saying the, the Perot thing, the Perot thing didn't work. Um, I mean, I know he got a lot of votes, mm -hmm. but it still didn't work. It's never gone anywhere. C-SPAN is rerunning a program that they made about eight or nine years ago right now called, uh, you know, the contenders. People who won and lost for president but changed history. And almost every single one of the people that they're profiling, the Eugene B. Debs uh, yeah. and all these people, were all yeah. third-party people, and none of them went anywhere. They made an incredible impact, but America did not accept I think the most... <laughs> is it America that's not accepting them, or well, is it the happened? system that Have won't let it happen? Yeah. Well, so that's kind of what I think... They were, were on the ballot in all 50 states, or however many states were at yeah. that time, Americans voted, but here, here's they what you've got. Look, 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 here, here, mean, let me let me say something. Here's what you've got to deal with. Uh, you've got to deal with to begin with a media that is only going to cover the two parties. Everybody else is going to be covered as lesser than in their it minds. Shouldn't happen that way. I of course, it shouldn't happen that way. But what are we going to do to get the media to equally cover the smaller parties? Change too? The, change like, laws they, they're, that uh, says that if you're if if you have money behind you, because right now it's the Democrats and the Republicans, yeah. and they they've got a lot of money behind. Because them. do you do you know the thing that used to upset me, Rob, was when they used to have the minority candidates debate. Well, why can't you have the minority candidate debate the majority candidates? Because maybe one of them might look better than the majority right. candidate. Absolutely, that's they're afraid of that. But we we both do it. of the parties together, the big parties are afraid of that. The only guy yeah, that came those. close to making any kind of a dent, and in fact he did, because Clinton got elected because he was in the race, was Perot. Mm -hmm. But what did right. he get? Did we say the other night twenty percent of the vote, something like that? Nineteen percent. Nineteen percent. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's not inconsiderable, and it was enough to make sure that uh, Bill Clinton won because he took yep. the votes away from uh, uh, whoever was running against Bill Clinton at the time. I'm trying to remember. H.W. Bush. H.W. Yeah. Yeah. Bush. Yeah. Yeah. H.W. For, yeah, first. Uh, and, um, you know, so, I mean, there have been not successful runs, but runs which made a dent. But what about still, Anderson? He got 12 percent. Did yeah. he really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Was yeah. that like 1980? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Was that the Reagan? Uh, yeah, I think that was the Reagan. Yeah. First Reagan. Reagan. Carter. Yeah. Um, who and the party that? What was the big party? The Green Party we had last yeah. time. I interviewed the woman who was running on, on the Green Party. What was her name, Brian? Jill Stein. I, huh? Jill Stein. Jill I interviewed Stein. Jill Stein. Biggest yeah. dope I've ever interviewed. Yeah. yeah. Just an absolute <laughs> yeah. dummy. You know, yeah. uh, so, I mean, run for uh, president and her uh, her buttons was a were a, a paper plate, uh, you know, like a picnic paper plate mm -hmm. uh, with uh, her name on it. Wait a minute. I've got a little problem here with uh, Tony's picture. He's oh, doing all kinds funny, of yeah. silly stuff. Look at that. It looks like you're in a witness protection program, and they don't want you to see who. Is everybody else getting that same thing? Uh, not on, not on not the on uh, Zoom. Skype. Only on no, the. I can see it. Right. She's, you she's you can not, see it. He looks normal. Yeah, yeah. on YouTube. Uh, it, all his, 
Yeah, I don't know. It's something, it's something that happens here. I mean, I guess what I was saying, though, was that was the point about the third party issue is, you know, and C-SPAN's point of their program was that these people did make a tremendous impact. The Perot's, you know, the, the, the Eugene Debs and, uh, you know, Theodore Roosevelt and others. I mean, but the point that they all had in common was two things. They all made a tremendous impact on history. I mean, they help change and mold new political paradigms and new landscapes. Yeah, they made but the, the real thing that they all shared in common was that they all lost. Yeah. And they this, this is, and I know people want to blame the system. And if you believe that, and I can't change your mind, that's fine. But it has mm-hmm. spanned 125 yeah. years. It doesn't Jeff, mean it. Shouldn't. That's a pretty large sample size. Yeah. At some point, it is what it is. I mean, if I told you a guy was hitting, you know, a buck 85 in September, you would say. Well, that's what he is. If I said it the fourth game of the season, you'd say, well, it's early. Okay. 125 Hold, years is a pretty decent sample. Hold on a second. First thing, I cleared up uh, 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 Tony's picture by just doing some stuff here. People saw it on the air. Went to one person on the screen at a time and brought it back, and it got rid of that. And Jeff has had his hand up, and I wanted to get to oh. Jeff because Jeff doesn't talk a lot. Okay? Yes, Jeff. Well, I, I voted for parole. I don't know if anybody else did. No, I didn't. And no, did I. Filled it. You did, yeah, too. Filled it. Filled it. And, you know, I thought a lot about him at the at the time. But, of course, he almost quit in the somewhere in the middle, remember? It, it was not somewhere in the middle. It was towards the end. He had good towards numbers the and everything. Got, and then all of a sudden he said, uh, I'm not running. <clears throat> and he I, think some, Bush, huh? uh, I think Bush. I think H.W. Bush, uh, he said that. Uh, they were coming after him and his daughter yeah. and his daughter's wedding. And, you know, I mean, H.W. Bush was the head of the CIA. Who knows what he's capable of? Yeah, capable. but, you know, on the other hand, and I don't like George Daddy Bush that much, didn't like him that much. I didn't like his son that much either. But he was a, a fairly decent human being. I mean, he wasn't, you'd like to think that because he was with the CIA, he was capable of that. I don't think he was. I don't think it was in his nature. You know, I think it's. I think it's. I think it's in Trump's nature. But I don't I, think it was in Perot's nature. I mean, here's a man that was paid seven billion dollars by uh, GM, and he says, "Hey, look, I, I, taking the money is going to hurt you guys. Why don't you just put me on the board and give me a little bit of money at a time, so I can help help the company be stronger?" And they said, "No, no, no, we don't want you. You take take the money." Yeah. Uh, so he started EDS, but. You know, the, the thing is, uh, Perot, I believe, was a patriot and, and a good guy. Well, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't sold on him, but I certainly liked the effectiveness of his third-party run. And it pl- talks to what Brian was saying earlier, is that, yeah, it'd be nice if we had somebody who had a real shot at it, you know? Uh, but right now, there's only one thing we got to do, and, of course, Phil will disagree with this, we got to get rid of Trump. I got to tell you, the latest stuff that Trump has been doing uh, with the post office, it, it, with the post oh, office. Yeah. collecting the mail. Uh, this, get this guy, and you should be frightened of this, Brian, because this is right in your paranoia bailiwick. Okay, this guy is trying to literally steal an election. He's yes. literally trying to rig the election by not allowing the post office to carry, send in ba- mail-in ballots. And by the way, it's also screwing up all the other mail, right. too, while you're at it, all because Trump won't sign a $25 billion bill to get money to the post office so they can adequately operate and, during the election period, take mail-in ballots. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that the mail-in ballots, as Trump says, is a con. And what he's doing, he's fighting the, de- uh, well, the Democrats. We, 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 yeah. The only way he knows how... Which is it's bullshit, it's Phil. He's doing it. He's doing it because he thinks. Here's where he's stupid. He thinks that it uh, the mail. I'll go to get to you in a second, Brian. I see your hand. Uh, the mail-in ballots, okay, are going to hurt his chances to get elected, and that is why he is trying to stifle the post office. Where he's being stupid is who uses mail-in ballots the most: Democrats or Republicans. 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 Republicans already get their, uh, uh, what do they call them, uh, the advance ballots. Uh, it's absentee. Uh, absentee ballots. Same thing as mail-in. No, it's mail-in no, no, it is the same, same thing. Different. At least here in New York. At, at least here in New York. What's the difference, Phil? 
Uh, the different difference box. is, is that uh, the mail-in ballots are mass mail to all voters. No, uh, they're not. No, they're not. No, they're not, Phil. Not, not here. Wait a minute. Hold on a second, Phil. Not here in New York. Not what happens in New York is you have to ask to get a ballot. You have to ask, and you have to supply a signature and right. proof of identification. That's right. You then get a ballot with a barcode that you have to sign the ballot so that it can be verified. Phil, no. that's Patrick, not the case here in New York. Hold it. Patrick, no. Patrick, Patrick, that's what it is. Ballot. No, no, Phil. That's an absentee that's ballot. That's not an no, absentee that's ballot. Not, that's the mail-in ballot here mail in New York. Ballot. I don't vote absentee. I yes. vote mail-in. I work, I work the poll in California, Phil. I know what you get. Yeah, I, I saw I, you sliding on the poll, and I wouldn't put a dollar in your bra either. I but, just, uh, I just very funny. Uh, Wait, Rob's got his hand up. I Rob? got fives all day long, baby. I, Rob, I just, Rob's got I, his I, hand up. I just this week went on the Virginia website to register for a mail-in ballot. And you have to provide driver's license. You have to provide all kinds of ID. They mail you something, and then you send that in. They're not mass mailing anything out. No, nope. that's an absentee. No, no, no it isn't. Not, that no. is the mail-in ballot the system, site. Phil. Well, you get, you ask get your, for it. You have you to get ask your, for it. Right. Get your ballot <laughs> in the mail, <laughs> Phil, Phil. Phil, they don't I mean, randomly send out. They do, Phil, a, Phil, in under California, this mail. Wait a minute. Oh, get your yeah. ballot in the mail. It comes as a sample ballot. You turn it into what you want. You can take it to the poll. You can check the box and say it's a mail-in. You can check it, call it an absentee. You put it in the envelope. You sign whatever you got to sign, and you bring it to either the polling place or you take it to the to the county or you put it in the mail. That's you how know, it works in California. Uh, but you have to send in a postcard or you have to send in something that says that you want to vote absentee. No, you that you want to vote by that's mail. L let me tell you this, Phil. Marjorie sent in for both of us. We are now registered to vote by mail, not absentee, Wait a minute. Right. vote by mail. Right. We didn't have to say any reason why we needed this. With, we're with absentee, I have to say it's because I'm not in the state at the time, or I'm in the military right. and I'm overseas or whatever. Right. And then she got a ballot. I didn't get one, I thought I got screwed, and then I suddenly realized, of course they didn't send me a ballot, because I'm an independent and I can't vote in a primary. So there's proof right there that they don't just randomly send ballots yeah. out. Once you check the box, they it's done. want to randomly send ballots. That's the problem. Oh, uh, that's what Trump Phil, tells you. Phil, Trump that's what Trump wants you to believe, he but he's wrong. He's lying about that. He's not lying about Kamala Everybody Harris. Everybody lying. And the yeah, GAO, right. and the Kamala GAO Harris is, is, is also a birther, right? Yeah, Kamala Harris isn't a citizen. Uh, Come on. Oh, no, I, I don't think so. Ah. She, uh, she's from San Francisco. Mm. Or she, no, no, she's from yeah. Oakland. Oh, even worse. <laughs> if you listen to Alex. what he says, he's lying. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Did Howard say something? Let's hear from Howard. We haven't heard from him tonight. Yes, Howard. I went online and I looked on California's website, and here's the deal. This is the definitive. It's apply to vote by mail, right. or you can vote. You can apply to permanently vote by mail. Mm -hmm. There you go. Like checking yeah. the box. Yeah. Yes. Yes, Brian. But you have to ask for it. Okay. Yeah, right. uh, first, no. First. You get okay. your ballot, and then you check off the box, and then you vote by mail. But you check off the box you asked for. Okay. Will you let Brian ask his question, please? Other Brian. Okay. Brian with the... I'm uh, approaching this from a different angle. Again, uh, I vehemently disagree with Phil. Uh, but that it's uh, a con, that voting by mail is, uh, is rigged by itself. No, it's not. The post office, though, there's a reason why the post office is experiencing more problems than it should. Yeah, Trump is trying to, uh, you know, rig it so that he gets himself reelected by, you know, moving mailboxes around and shit like that. Even in Pennsylvania, I saw, I saw on the news that that was happening here mm -hmm. in this state. But uh, the post office was... Um, had a lot of its funding taken away in 1970, 1971, 1970, I want to say, when uh, it was uh, removed from department status and by by Congress. And at the time, uh, 
Congress made that happen along with Richard Nixon's signature. So, mm-hmm. you know, the deconstruction of the post office. Well, no, the, began, the worst thing that much happened. Like, the, the, much yeah. like uh, Trump being a symptom of a much larger problem, so too is this a symptom. The worst, the, thing, uh, that, the worst thing that happened to the post office was yep. as follows. They put out a, the Congress, I think, passed a law that the post office had to pay out what their their health insurance? What was it? Their what their retirement, retirement. For, for, they, for se- they had to they, for they had to put for seventy five years ahead. Yes, no other agency in America was forced to do the same. Yeah, and that's, that's why they got off. bankrupted because otherwise it was pretty much paying for itself. That's yeah, because it was. You would have a profit before that. It's because the Republicans want to privatize it, so they want to drive yeah. it. I mean, now it's to stop the voting that way, but prior to that, it was to privatize the whole thing. By yeah, the way, let's say, to, to, let's say hello to let's say hello to wait a minute let's hello. say hello let's say hello to Ray and let's say hello to uh, Patrick. Hi! Wow, fifteen Four. people. Wow, S- scary. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, listen to your rant. Uh, oh, all uh, I'm saying is is that the current stance by Trump is so stinky. You know, and then he says it's going to be uh, it's going to be a real show. You know, there's going to be so much problems because then we're going to argue about voting, and and it's going to be it's going to be a real problem. Well, I got news for you, it's going to be a real problem the other way. The Democrats could justly claim that their people have been prevented from voting by not allowing mail in. You know, and so I mean, it, it he's already setting he already knows he's going to lose. And when he loses, he wants to be able to have a way to refuse to leave. Mm. Okay? That's it. Plain and simple. Are you that, Alex, are you confident he's going to lose? Huh? Are you confident I'm he's going to lose? I'm very confident he's going to lose. Yeah. Then yeah, what I'm does it so matter confident. if I vote green or not? It, 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 that's getting back to that <laughs> other discussion. <laughs> I'm saying that right now that that he has loser's breath on his. Uh, he, he may, but he yeah. did the last time, too, and he won. And all mm-hmm. the polls were against them because people are afraid. Different, different, different time now. Yeah. People are, are so sick of this guy I'm being on. Right. <laughs> this yeah. guy is there so. Is people are so sick of hearing from this piece of crap every single day. They're mm-hmm. exhausted by having him be president. The people are going to vote against him just because they're exhausted. Oh. There yeah. are also yeah. statistical Ray. differences. Hillary did you happen? Clinton. Did you talk about his? Um, what he's doing with the post office and yeah. how that—yeah, that's what we're talking about. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm yeah, just the follow the. It's just said if he is successful. It's, it's that, number it's three. Big... It's number three on your list there. It's okay. uh, on the uh, on the list. <laughs> look of at them. the run. Look at the show run. Yes, now. Robert. <laughs> there are statistical differences here. Hillary Clinton at no, no point had 50 percent of the national polling. At no point. Part two is in swing states, Biden holds in many polls a double digit lead, which Hillary yeah. never, ever had. Don't trust so there are differences. There are Trump. big differences. And they're just afraid of polls. Well, Donald Donald Trump. Trump. I'm Biden saying I am polls. saying no, that what he's nice. doing is he's setting it up so that when he loses, he's going to say, I didn't lose. I won. This was rigged and I'm not leaving. Cousin. I have a cousin who told me this straight out. She is a tremendous Donald Trump supporter, but she says, I will not tell anybody. And I believe a lot of people feel the same. She said that a a friend of hers drove up with a Donald Trump bumper sticker on her car. And she's like, are you crazy having that on your car? Where do you live, Rob? Uh, It's not where I live. This is Orange County, California. Well, come on. (laughs) Well, but I'm just saying, right? You know, they're staunch Trump supporters mm-hmm. but they will not tell anybody she told me i'm family mm-hmm. yeah. They're true so that's the scary thing uh, people right. damage your car uh i don't put it on my car i mean i have a uh, uh a flag with the blue thin blue line on it and people will cut you off uh you know the, the it's like facebook out there and uh and, You're right it is and they feel empowered People don't like Trump. Let me That's let right. me ask Patrick here what he thinks of all of this, and I'm sure the answer I'm going to give is I really don't give a shit, right, Patrick? Pretty much. I mean, Hillary still won, and she won, so I I don't see any difference if if Trump losing and he won that he won. 
I mean, Hillary's been doing it for almost four fucking years. So yeah, well, she did. I had written into her fucking baby. She never tried to move in the White House. So. You know, she had she had uh, a lot of uh, a, a lot of votes. She had three million more votes than he did. It doesn't yeah. matter. That's not her system. That's right. Yeah. It should be yeah. though. It's not oh, yet. I mean, m- movements have been made to make it so that the popular vote overcomes the uh, electoral vote, but it's still we're still not there yet. I think and right now, won. But right now we have. He took advantage of the system and he won. Yeah. On are, are you there, Bree? Bree, are you there? Hmm. Hmm. Sixteen people. Yeah. Oh my God, Brian's here. Hey, Brian. Hello. Yeah. I What's am. up? Uh, yeah, we got we had people. sixteen people. There we go. Here we and Bree yeah. is now number sixteen. Sixteen. It was tough to get in. Record. Damn. Yeah. Uh, uh, turn up your mic a little bit there, Bree, if you can. Can you uh, can you put uh, oh, on the you. link on YouTube? I didn't put the link on YouTube tonight. No. Okay. No, it is on YouTube. Still directed me to the website. Oh, I know. I I put up and made a new thing, and I forgot to put the. Uh, yeah, I hadn't been there the last two nights. Yeah, I forgot to do it. I'll have to do. Uh, it's on Gavinet. Really stopped Net. everybody, hasn't it? Sixteen people. I don't think I've ever been on here. Yeah, before. well, you can always. If worse comes to worse, just go to Gabnet, and the link is there. Yeah, that's what I do. Okay, yeah. that's what you do. Just yeah, go to Gabnet and go to the just link. Save there. it in your Zoom. Huh? Like you said before, no yeah, bad. Idea. Yeah, I yeah, I forgot to put it up on here yeah. because the other night I had to change. Uh, YouTube changed everything on me again. You, you know, know I, I had to find and I re-enter all the stuff that goes into what you see there, and I forgot to I forgot to throw in the fact Zoom us at blah 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 blah. But That's if you good. ever have that problem, and also I think all of you after calling this number, you should be able to somehow make a. A note of it and be able to call it just it's using stored. Zoom. What? Yeah. It's in my memory. It's in the it's in the memory, memory. banks of Zoom. It, so, uh, yeah. it, where, where where is it on, in Zoom? Did yeah, you say in it's Zoom. in the drop down list on Zoom when you go when you go to um, call? There's a Dream. list. Oh, I yeah. join okay. under join. You just yeah. go to the yeah. drop down list. So just use that screen. too. But I will I will correct that in the next couple of days. So it, it, oh, Bree, what's for lunch? lunch? Well, I, I am uh, at a famous place that does pork steaks, and I'm getting bacon and bacon polenta. Oh, pork steaks! Is yeah. that a, 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 a is that a, a a a steak you eat while fucking? No, <laughs> pork. A pork steak. <laughs> tube steak. Get it? That's a tube steak, <laughs> right? Who said that? You. It's <laughs> rare to find that. You know, in Dubai and in Malaysia. Yeah, so yeah. The tube like steak. Uh, <laughs> by the by, the way, you, you are being uh, kind of. I have the Gabnet logo up there. Maybe I should take it off because you're being. You're unfortunately, Bree, because there are so many people. You are being obliterated by it. So let me take away the Gabnet okay. now. Nobody no, even know what's going on. I don't mind being obliterated by it. Yeah, but anyway. Um, so where were we? Oh yeah. So I mean, you want to talk about Trump. stuff that interests me. Oh, uh, stuff that interests no. you. Hey, Phil. Well, so it, how was that safety class? Well, that's probably what he wants to talk about. Uh, well, no, that was a good class. It went an hour and a half. Uh, it was uh, on the AR-15. But today, the Ninth Circuit Court oh, uh, uh, overturned the uh, limited magazine ban on on guns. You know, in California, you're not allowed to own a magazine that holds bullets. That's over 10 rounds. Well, I, I never could get uh, bullets to, <laughs> in my, it, with my Playboy magazine, for yeah, instance. Well, so. they overturned it and uh, this afternoon. So everybody was out ordering because if you order it and uh, they overturn it again, it's, it's legal oh, for you to possess those okay, magazines. Yeah. So yeah. I bought six 30-round uh, AR-15 mags today. And... Uh, yeah, the website was so slow and it was so overloaded with people buying. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I'm sure that that judge will be overturned on Monday. But because it happened this afternoon on Friday, they, yeah. they couldn't do it. Are yeah. you the Scarface of Walnut Creek? Yeah. I, uh, say hello to my little friend. <laughs> Wait, what is that? The Camilla Tobacco sh- House? Yeah, that's here in this mall. I just walked past it. Yeah, but that's not the way Camilla <laughs> Harris spells her name, is no. it? No. Uh, Kamala. 
Kamala. Yeah. Kamala. <laughs> Kamala. So what? Yeah. Wasn't yeah. Kamala a uh, a wrestler? Uh, you know. One of those By the way, does Kamala. anybody know what's what's what the uh, secondary defamation is? Oh, look at that. Oh, that's yummy. I love pork. I heard uh, Biden accidentally call her Kamala today. <laughs> Um, yeah. Well, Kamala is how it's pronounced, actually. I think it's Kamala. 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 It was on Tucker Carlson Kamala. that, like, her one of her lackeys. Yeah, but, it, but anyway, hey. let me get back to what. Kamala. Let me get back to the thought I had here before it goes away, like an old man's thoughts go. Uh, hmm. uh, the 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 whole thing with uh, secondary defamation. Does anybody know what it is? Because I learned all this when I was doing radio. You can't defame somebody by saying, I heard somebody say that, and then say something which is defamation. Because what it is, it's secondary defamation. Because by saying that, by uttering the defamation and saying you heard that, you're using that really kind of as an excuse not to get sued. But you can get sued for secondary defamation. So is that true on social media? I, be I believe it holds true on social media too, but you got to go find the guy. Nothing's true on social media. But, but <laughs> right. what the That's president did, in social. essence, with Kamala Harris, uh, Kamala, whatever her name is, Miss Miss Harris, Kamala, Kamala. Senator Harris, Kamala. Senator Harris, was oh, secondary defamation. Oh well, I heard that. Okay, and supposedly he thinks that separates him from being called to account for having said it. But what he did is he threw the information, he threw the rumor out into the ether and then was responsible for spreading the rumor. So that's secondary defamation. Yeah, but he can do whatever he wants. He's president. Yeah, laws yeah. don't apply to him. He yeah. can shoot someone in the middle of Fifth Avenue. And he can buy the, the bullets Avenue. now to do it with. And he, he can buy the Aspen magazines this weekend in California. He can change the number of Woohoo! Yeah. But that'll help the school shooters. Yeah. 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 But anyway, you know, uh, with with the whole post office thing, I'm just seeing a setup coming. <clears throat> you know. And if he does remain president of the United States, it's gonna be because he refuses to leave and claims that he was ripped off and that the election was uh, illegal and then he'll take it to the Supreme Court. And, you know, he's going to throw this country into a constitutional crisis. <laughs> you think he's going to leave, Phil, if, if he loses? What he guys? said he might Absolutely. not. Absolutely. He said he and might it, not. How would you the only feel person if he doesn't? that said that he wasn't going to leave is, is Biden. He, no, he said it. He said it, Phil. Phil, he no, said he it. He said he might not he leave. That he was asked the question, and he said, I might not. And how will you feel if he doesn't leave, Phil? Uh... I guess they won't make the beds at the White House, and they Joke might again. go off the electric. Well, uh, you, didn't leave, you didn't answer the he question. If loses, he'll leave. Uh, I don't but if he doesn't he leave, if he, do, if he doesn't, doesn't leave, if he doesn't leave, what are you going to do? You, what, what, what can, we, what can we get out of you besides the twenty oh, bucks that? Uh, sun, who bet the with the you uh, that Robert bet you? Morning, if the sun doesn't come up in the morning, I'll use a flashlight. The guy will leave if he loses. But what if he doesn't really? leave, what will you do? Uh, I know that you're going to have to give 20 bucks to Robert, but what are you going to do for the rest of us? That guy's going to win. Robert, don't spend that money too fast. <laughs> yes. So yes. you didn't hear him say that he might not leave? Yeah. Well, let me, hold on a second. Uh, okay. first, first, Patrick, first Patrick, then Bree. Patrick? If he doesn't leave, I'll walk, okay? <laughs> and then the chances to him not leaving are that small. I mean, it's really? a fucking break. Everybody oh. just in a tailspin over this fucking guy. The thing is, if everybody would stop watching the television every time he's on, y'all might have a lower blood pressure. You might have some fun in your life, like me today. I sat outside and I read a fucking book with some coffee. I didn't <laughs> worry about fucking Mom Harris and Joe and Tom and you know, well, just fucking relax. <laughs> oh, listen, you, listen you, to Mr. Our signing. I want to know. Listen to Mr. Chillmaster there. <laughs> I, I want to know, Alex, who certifies the votes in each state 
Is I it do. an attorney general? And are they under Trump? Like, can he tell his attorney? Like, I I'm thinking that Trump has powers to change the vote, essentially. Where do you guys get this shit from? Well, let's look at Georgia. The same place that when Donald Trump the gets the information that Kamala Harris cool. is, a, is an alien. <laughs> Bill, when you see pictures of mailboxes being picked up and hoarded yeah, and taken away it. someplace, it makes you think those kinds of things. I've been around them. this planet for a long time they're and haven't just, seen anything like this. They're just making sure that the rioters don't burn them. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. How clever. You know, now they're just yeah, taking sure. them. You know, what, you know what gets me is uh, we're, we're sitting here griping about mail, voting by mail, when in fact that's probably safer than voting at polls because how many polls were rigged? How many ballots were lost? How many well, ballots were dro dropped into a river, into a river somewhere? Huh? What'd you say, Jeff? Remember in Chicago? Chicago. <laughs> Kennedy got elected because of, right. of, of fake I'm ballots. Right. And these were ballots that were cast at polling places. Yeah, that was okay. 50 years, 60 years. Chad's. Did you all miss the, the thing that well, happened 50 years with is the so UAE and, Israel and you know, I mean, this is good stuff that's going on. Uh, you, UAE you uh, had uh, nothing uh, to do second. with that. Hold that's on a second. I lived. Let's I lived in Dubai. Let's talk, he lived in Dubai. Let's hear from I can him. I'll tell you what's going on. All right. So here's the deal. In Dubai, we uh, people from Israel came to Dubai. They did. They did that before this announcement. They will do it after the announcement. They, there was an incident several years ago where, and it was tied back to Israelis. So when they came in, they were given bodyguards essentially to go around with them. Uh, but it's kind of a little bit of theater. Um, it, Trump and Kushner have a good relationship with the leader there. So they said, look, we need this. You're already sort of got good relations. So could we just make this announcement? And he was like, okay, we can make this announcement. So, you know, this is the third company, country in the Middle East. You got yeah. Jordan, you got Egypt, mm -hmm. uh, and now you got the UAE. And who, who made the deal? Who made those other deals? Uh, it was um, Carter. Was it Carter yeah. that made the other yeah. two deals? Yeah, think, you know, Carter and yeah. Egypt deal. Okay, so but the, this thing with Trump well, this with, was not. This was not because of a groundswell of citizen support. This was the leader saying, well, listen to Come do a favor for him. Hey, well, it was the no, leaders. No, no, no. no. Phil, Egypt. Phil, I, when I first heard it, Brie, when I first heard it, when I first heard it, my first feeling was the UAE. That's, that's a slam dunk. That's an easy one because they do business with the West anyway, and they want to keep everybody happy. And, well, you know. And one, more, one more thing, and then I'll shut up. This can be reversed the same way that it was announced. It can be reversed the same way that it was announced. And if you don't think so, that happens all the time over there. Like, you know, you, you think you can buy a house. They'll say foreigners can buy a house or you can get a five-year visa. You can get a 10-year visa. And then two weeks later, they'll say, oh, no, we're changing that rule. So you have to be careful with it's, it's not necessarily a long-term thing. Are they going to make the other Arab countries uh, happy with the fact that they are now signing a treaty with Israel? You know, well, they've I mean, never they've uh, never been that uh, that aligned with the other Arab countries anyway. Am I right, Bree? They are more aligned uh, with them. Phil, than they listen, with I asked Bree. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, they, nobody's going to make a big deal of it because it's just it's theater. It's announcement. It's things that were already they're already doing it. Now they're just publicly acknowledging it for the time being. Yeah. And who gets the thing you have to know field. is there are a lot of Palestinians what, what were, what were you in saying? the UAE. John Larkin, what were we going to say? Yeah, who gets fucked in the whole deal is the Palestinians. They're the ones that are getting fucked because Israel's gonna, you know, they're they're not agreeing not to annex any more of the uh, the West Bank. They're just postponing it for a while. They agreed to stop, but not stop, the, just not this, this, this not this permanently. Deal. Not just per, not permanently, just temporarily. Hey, every, nothing's wait permanent. Wait after the election. Phil, you've got a lot of misinformation, so I think maybe it's time for you to back off. Yeah, I have to know that there was an agreement between Israel well, and the U.S. Yes, and we know it too. But also, we're telling you, and Bree is telling you that it ain't no biggie, big deal. Nothing's a big deal if Trump does it. Phil, uh, if, Phil, can you tell me why is Trump acting like my? Why, why is Trump acting like my super in my building? That all of a sudden he returns my calls 
two, three months before the Christmas bonus is handed out. Yeah, okay. Uh, but meanwhile... Yeah, the, yeah. he I mean, hasn't done it, shit. He hasn't yeah, done shit. And now else. he's trying to pull out anything out of his ass he can do uh, that, to say uh, that he's done something. But you know so, what he hasn't done? He hasn't saved 167,000 lives. That's yes. what he hasn't done. Under he, his watch, he has been negligent, Phil. Hey, negligent. Hey, wait a minute. Uh, Bennett, there you said there was going to be two and a half million people die from this virus. I didn't yeah. say that. I didn't say that. I never said that. I never no, said that's that. What the, that's what the... Uh, the no, um, I, you said that I said it. You said that I said it. You said that I said it. You said that, that I said it. That is gaslighting. He's gaslighting, said, yeah. <laughs> he said that uh, two and a half million people, that's what they. That's what your Cuomo said, that's what they said. No, he... It, it, 167,000. I never heard... A hell of a lot better than two and a half million. Phil, I never heard two and a half million at any point. Wait a minute. Well, let's go to another expert here, because you're not an expert on shit. Bri more, Brian Neary. Because I don't... What were the estimate? What was the high estimate you ever heard? I heard around 300,000. Uh, um, yeah. And the I remember States. when they, they're only hitting 50,000 and then Trump was saying, oh, it's going to be well, well below this now because he thought he had everything under control and it just shot right up. Hearing two and a half million. I was, never heard two and a half million worldwide, Phil. Never. That's, Trump oh. said that. Trump said it. Trump said it. Yeah, but he's Trump the only said one. It. And, and that so makes sense. And so did yeah, your boy. Yeah, what it is. Cuomo. Yeah. Cuomo never said that, Phil, and I watch him every single day. Right. Why? going to make me do a search. Yeah, go do a search. Uh, uh, yeah, first, don't forget to go to, to tomorrow. Don't forget to go to Newsmax as your first choice. Breitbart. <clears throat> OAN. Yeah, yeah. OAN, OAN, Breitbart. You know, all your normal, usual sources. He didn't okay. say two and a half million in the world. Uh, but he, you know, we some people... The, the high estimate was three hundred million and three hundred thousand right in now? this country. Three hundred thousand, huh? Three hundred thousand worldwide. Three hundred thousand. No, in this country. Worldwide, I don't know what the estimate was. They said Florida had its highest death total today. I yeah, think. yeah, they did. They're Jeez. they're coming. They're up to ten thousand. So what? So did Texas. Texas had its highest death rate yet. Okay, For how many have died so far in Texas? Do you know? We passed the ten thousand mark today. Wow. So, keep going on. so, 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 you know, and, and New York, who was in, in big trouble, I think we hit what, 23,000 yeah. deaths? But the one positive. That was early. Wait a minute. Yeah. Let uh, Tony speak. To Tony hasn't talked all night. The one positive that I can take out of the deaths, which right now, it seems like, though, New York, we got hit the hardest in the beginning with the death rate. But it looks like the death rate is going down. So they must be learning how to treat it a little better. Mm -hmm. Even yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, Phil, are, Phil yeah. has, his, has his proof. Where, 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 what's your source? First place I found was the New York Times, and yeah. they said as many as 1.7 million people could die. Well, that's not too world, point, right? But Phil, yeah. Phil, you said 2.5 million. Said between 160 and 214 million people in the United States could, 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 could die. Could. Could die. The big word there is could. Infected, yeah, infected, if we don't infected. do anything, if we don't do those it's estimates, die. Phil, Phil, be Man, quiet. Man, Phil, 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 be quiet and listen to me. Uh, Phil, be quiet and listen to me. Those estimates are based on nothing happening. In other words, without mitigation, without wearing masks, without doing anything, that's how many people could <clears throat> die. Wait a minute. That is not the estimate that people said would happen if we started doing mitigation. Am I right, when, Brian? When was that estimate? When was that estimate? When was that estimate, Phil? What, when was the estimate? What's the date on that? What's the what's the sixty seven thousand? Phil, by filibustering, you're not going to make yourself right. What's the date on that article? What's the date on the article, Phil? What's the date on the article? March thirteenth. Oh, oh, that's good. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Of course, but there was nothing in place. There was nothing in place. It was early estimates. I oh said, my God. Oh, yeah, they were saying if we don't do anything, if we don't shut down, that, that was Times. That was before <laughs> shelter in place. That was before fake news, New York Times. You know, I, I'd rather just talk to Brian Ludwig for the rest of the show. <laughs> they didn't say anything about not doing anything. What they said was it could be up to yeah, one point right. seven million. Yeah, yeah, that was the New York Times. Mm -hmm. Other other uh, agencies. Uh, Phil, it was, it was yeah, you're wrong, Phil. 
You want to see it for yourself? You're wrong because you're interpreting it the way you want to interpret it. Those were without mitigating how, factors. How long did it say it would take to get there, though? It's still yeah, good. That was before there. shelter in place. Two weeks. No. Yeah. Oh, two yeah. weeks? Oh, come on, I never Phil. Said that. Come on. Yes, Tony. We took my mom to the foot doctor to get her nose uh, nails cut. Her nose cut. Her nose. <laughs> her nose really? cut off. I'm eating. I'm eating. You know Spider what? face. <laughs> Both of his parents. What? Alex, his parents died of COVID. Who? Well, Who's the foot doctor's parents? The one with the dad was 90 and the mom was in her late 80s. Well, then, you know, they were going to go anyway soon. Yeah. You know. He said nothing to fool around with. She was looking good. Right, what's he says, we came on the exact day from the last time. She went last year. He says, where's my cake? Because we went August, like, 7th, and we exactly went on the year anniversary. We didn't realize it. Wow. Wow. A, wow. She gets a pedicure from the doctor? Uh, no, yeah, when you get old, when people, people get really old, sometimes they have to go to a, a foot doctor to get their nails cut because the nails like are so bad. Nails get talons. Thick. Yeah. <laughs> the body shop. Get the grinder. I am eating here. <laughs> oh, yes, excuse me. It worked, man. It's just like a quick snip. Let's talk about foot fungus. Come on. Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> Uh, Kevin, you've been quiet uh, in the last hour or so. Anything? Nikki's on the phone. Oh, I think he's on the phone. Okay. <laughs> I heard that Bree, and uh, not Bree, but Trump is spreading foot foot fungus amongst uh, the Democrats by taking away their Phil, mail. I just wish he, I, he'd spend one day know, and shut up. <laughs> just one day. Just shut but up. Happened. Yes, that Patrick. Was yes, that Patrick. was yesterday. Pat <laughs> Patrick. <laughs> Yeah. You can shut up if you turn your TV off, for one. Yeah. Okay, all right. <laughs> and as far as Bree worried about foot fungus and that, would he rather I talk about putting a catheter in? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah go yeah, ahead. Tell yeah, him about that. Would be that. Cool. I mean, oh. Because what I do is I typically uh, move the catheter <laughs> about three inches. Show us. And then I thread it into my urethra. Yeah. Let's what? see a live well, demo. This is a new program called... Let's make uh, Brie lurch lunch. I'm leaving. I am leaving. <laughs> you guys keep this up. Anybody have What's hemorrhoids? Dessert? Oh, I have I have a hemorrhoid. Yeah. Yeah, I, I got one. It's fun. Yeah, yeah it's fun. No, so, no, that's yeah, especially when you take them and push them back in. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just push them back in. Yeah. That's what I do. Yeah. They come and they go. You don't you don't have them. Hey they Brian, we're getting go. towards the end of the show. I wondered where she was gonna be. We always end our show with a bit of happiness. Stop talking here. about bad stuff. Yeah, this is this is. This is this Look at how cute! Oh my god, uh, she's adorable. She's she's the mascot of this show. Just replace my dog, and put it on the website. Yeah. Uh, uh, what? Say hi. Hi. Say hi. Yeah. You know what I want to hear? I, I did this the other night because when we have this many people, I like to have everybody do it just so I can hear it since I haven't had a live studio audience in years. Is for all of you to give a round of applause at this point of the show. Okay? Everybody. Bravo. Bravo. <laughs> there we go. Except for Josh. He's on his uh, cell phone. <laughs> anyway. Brian didn't clap. Brian didn't clap. <laughs> yes. Anyway, hey, listen, uh, that's about it. I I got to run the theme here, uh, and uh, make sure everything is still working here. Hey, listen, this has been uh, quite something. Uh, we have a total of what is this? Uh, Sixteen people. Yeah. 16, Seventeen. Se Seventeen. Sixteen. Sixteen. Well, there's two here. Uh -huh. Oh, uh -huh. Seventeen. You're right. Daddy, she's it's the new map. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, Josh, thank you. Thank you, Brian. Nice having you here. Love having you here. Uh, Robert, always a pleasure. Charlie, terrific. Howard? Aloha. Thank you. Uh, and and, and uh, Brian and that lovely, lovely girl you have sitting there on your lap by the name of Adrian. Look at her. She's posing. Yeah, uh, and uh, thank you, Rob. Thank you, John Larkin. Thank you, Kevin Stopper. Thank you, Phil Meyer. Thank you, uh, uh, Tony. Thank you, Jeff. <laughs> thank you, Patrick. Thank you, Ray. And uh, thanks to Bree in Dubai, in not Dubai, but in um, uh, Kuala Lumpur. 
Gesundheit. Right. Everybody, give a big wave goodbye, and we'll give you a big wave goodbye back, okay? That's our citizen panel, folks. That's how she rolls. Uh, thank you for joining us. Let me wave goodbye back, and we'll say goodbye to them, okay? There they go. They're cutting off right now. They're probably all getting ready to go over and have fun doing the uh, intersection with Jack Bishop. He's next over most of the same station. I'll be back again Monday. Yes, what time? Of course, the usual time, 10.30 Eastern Daylight Time. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. And by the way, stay safe out there and wear a mask. Have a nice weekend, everybody. Bye-bye.